Cool, we're back on YouTube. Yay. This VOD will get DMCA'd to heck. That's alright, it just means it won't be able to be monetized. At least after the fact. Neato. Now we can launch uh, Fallout. Beauties. Hello again, YouTube. We have returned. I'll probably use another uh, playlist just off of Spotify too, since the game music, like, it gets pretty repetitive. Let me move the camera too. There's probably free shit for me to grab. They have their new event going on too. What's the new event called? I, I probably just skip right through everything uh, there. Weather station thunderstorm. There's some stuff that was like pretty cheap when I saw Beth was playing offline. Um, like they had discounts on a lot of stuff. A fetch collectron. <clears throat> Twitch is laggy for you at the moment. Says you're live on YouTube but not showing up. Curious. Uh, we should be live. Might need to refresh on YouTube. Yeah, I still gotta build that giddy up thing as well, yeah. It's true. I don't know why I'd be lagging on, uh, on Twitch. That seems like something that may be happening on your end. Unfortunately. Toxic Wasteland, what is this? Build this entrance to access your shelter. Oh. Well, before we look at any of this, let me just grab this shit that's free. A checkered shirt for free? My goodness. Nice. Nice. Free scrap kit. You know we like that. Welcome, Earthlings Bundle. Wow. That's kind of cool. already have that. I would say they really have like a bunch of blueprints that you can just keep making like basically a big ass shelter if you want to. It'd be cool if you could actually make your shelter like underground and live in that. You know what I mean? Like you can make your own vault. I suppose that wouldn't be like feasible with like the map. Although it's a pretty damn big map. Unlocks an extra slot for all characters on your account. So you can have, does that mean like another account? Or sorry, you can have another camp? Build another home in the wasteland. Oh, that's kind of cool. That might be kind of worth it actually at some point. <sighs> the shelters of vaults. No, I, I know that. I'm just saying... Underground. Building underground. Like, actually.
Like having an entrance that goes underground, etc. Oh, you can place two already. The I didn't know I could place two. Whatever, I could I could be stuck looking at that for a while. I'm only a little level eleven. Looks good on YouTube. Good. Thank you, Austin, for letting us know. By the way, I still want your GTA playlist when I pass out, plus your Black Mesa walkthrough. So good. <laughs> I've thought about going back to Black Mesa and just like starting from the beginning now that they actually like fully finished that. I just saw that, by the way, Mets. You're pulling an overnighter at a data center. Server's been sparking high. Well, then this is probably good stuff to have in the background. My Xbox. Am I an Xbox? No, Artem. I know you meant to say, am I on Xbox, but it's funny that you said, are you Xbox? Um, no, I'm on PC, but I'm using an Xbox controller. I don't remember if I looked like this the last we played. We did, yeah, yeah. It was Last time I played was with Beth. Speak to Lane. Better tomorrow. I don't know what mission we were doing. Speak to Lane. Is this another mission I have right here? Would you like some hookups? Huh? You mean like free shit is what you're saying? Talk to Grafton there. Um, I don't think so. I don't like having too much given to me in these types of games, because then it starts to become like, what's the point? You know what I mean? Maybe if I was like really struggling to get something, and it's just like, you know, something to help me build something that's just really, you know, easy for someone else to give me. I don't know. I'm going to say no for now. But I appreciate the offer. Um, oh, talk to Mayor Grafton. This is something. I mean, well, fuck it. Let's just do this. Let's go talk to Mayor Grafton. I haven't really been up there very much either. Where am I right now? I think I'm down below. Oh, this is Speak to Lane. We're down here, right? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I'm getting a little more oriented. Let's go to the isolated chat cabin. <clears throat> Doing some free screws. Maybe. Maybe. I got a lot of scrap packs too that I can probably get a decent amount of screws from. That they've given. my weight like I think I dropped off a lot of shit before we before we ended before Ooh, maybe I didn't what do I have on me <clears throat> where's all this weight coming from oh yeah uh, let's go to our camp real quick Which should be up here. You know, at one point you had like 300 screws and it wasn't enough. But that's for like crafting. Like, were you running out of screws because of what you were trying to craft and like and build for your for your camp, or was it because of like weapons? You why did you need the screws? There you go, it's working out. Do they still have the Mothman creature on the current update? Uh, they did when I played forever ago. I don't know about now. I think the Mothman is just always there, isn't he? Isn't the update centered around Mothman? Or am I, I crazy? Go to my 
my scrap box here. use these again. No junker spin. Mm -hmm. <coughs> are those boxes to put scrap in? I thought those were things that gave me like stuff. I'm so fucking confused. I feel stupid as hell. Cody Red, thanks for the 47 months earlier, by the way. Sir Helsing420 with the 24 months and howdy, y'all. Hello. That was a weird way to say hi to you. Astrolog with the two months earlier. I'd pay to see you run the Half-Life gig again. So good, Max. Your intro train ride was just like everyone that played it all an hour straight of... Oh, look at this. <laughs> scrap kits and carried junk to the scrap box first. Oh. I see. And by... When I say I see, I don't really know. Whatever, I'm just gonna keep them there. I'm trying to figure out what all the fucking weight that I'm carrying right now is coming from. Probably a lot of this kind of stuff. We don't need so much of all this. I think I'm going to ditch the snub-nosed pistol. That, I also don't think I need 10 grenades on me. Until I do. I don't need 14 molotovs on me as well. That was the weapon I got from... That's level 5, but also, I don't think I'm going to use that if I already have less critical, but eh, I'll keep it for now. I feel like I'm just going to keep using this sniper rifle. Open your inventory. Items. All. They're fucking up my turret! Are you still alive? Oh, get the hell out of here. Beaver teeth. Oh, it's a fucked up beaver. I was, I was wondering what the hell that was. <laughs> Let's cook some mongrel meat. From your stash menu? Yeah, okay. Oh yeah, I should be playing, uh...
Now, now we're playing Fallout. Just inventory, right? All these fusion cores, yeah, that's... We don't need any of that shit right now. He's a devil. Fucking Dutch's drams are... I'm gonna... I'm gonna store those. Nuka-Cola Cranberry! There's all these loggers and shit. Spoiled biofluid. That's fine for now. Yeah. Alright, cool. That's enough to get out there. <clears throat> Inventory management, the game, no, for real. I would, if they could have me pay, you know, X amount of money to just not have to have any encumbrance, I'd pay it. I fucking hate it. I hate encumbrance so much in video games nowadays. Especially games that I've played a lot, like Fallout and whatever. Don't like it. <clears throat> it's not fun. Again, if they want to, if they, if they want to, like, limit, like, how many slots of something, that's okay. I hate weight limit. It's so stupid. But also in Fallout, just let me carry whatever the fuck I want. You have so much for us to discover. It's not fun to go back and then, like, Inventory manage, throw my things back. It takes so much time away from me that I could be out exploring and enjoying the game. Yeah, that's that's what I do too, Ramstein. I, I do the same thing. Like when I play Skyrim or any Fallout that's single player and I can mod it myself, I just get rid of the encumbrance mod. Or sorry, do the um find them an, an encumbrance mod. <clears throat> we actually met years ago at TwitchCon when you and uh, Nick were roomies. Glad to see you still at it. Me and... I'm assuming you're talking about Diction. Me and Diction were never roommates. We lived near each other. We weren't roommates. But that's cool. Here's a question outside of weight limits. Do you like that they uh, have so much clutter items that you can pick up that generally outside of breaking them down as a mechanic for crafting mats are useless? Um... I do know about my travel camp. Yeah, yeah. I always forget, though, uh, to use it. <laughs> but sometimes, too, you want something to, go, to actually, like, scrap stuff and whatever and do more than just, uh, store things. I, remind me about my travel camp, though, because I do forget about it. I know, I know I have it, but... So as for, for Fallout, it kind of makes sense that there's a lot of, like, items that are in the world, you know, that, that you would come across that are clutter, because a lot of it is just, like, shit that would exist in the world, because it's post-apocalyptic, and the bombs went off, and a lot of the shit is just there. So I guess it's neat that the things that I come across, I can get value from them. Do you know what I mean? But 
with so much stuff that I have to loot, and then, you know, especially in this game, because the utility of, like, grabbing things and, and in Fallout 4, grabbing things and breaking them down into, uh, stuff that I can put into workable, usable things, like crafting stations and building my house and, uh, in addition to all the shit that you'd loot anyways that's not even related to building or crafting or whatever, it would be nice to have at least just, if not no encumbrance, <laughs> uh, just a lot of carry weight, you know what I mean? So I don't really mind the quote-unquote clutter items because the alternative is there's just items that exist in the world then that um, are static or you can push around but have no purpose other than just being there. So I guess it's kind of neat and I've I've liked the idea from this game to, to Skyrim or anything like that that there's like every almost every item that you see for the most part I can grab or interact with at some point. This game, I don't think you can grab them. It'd be nice if you could just grab them and hold them like the other ones. But, um, yeah, I don't know. Gil Ghoul's Note. Hey, sir, Mrs. Braxton, my name is William Keller. I represent a group of brave men and women whom you may wish to meet. In the years since our new lives began, many of us have begun to lose things we once took for granted. Our skin, a face, an old voice. <clears throat> Most painfully, each of us have lived to see our friends and loved ones die around us. It's been 20 years no one should have to suffer in loneliness and fear. You are not alone. Oh. I'm apparently very hungry and thirsty. If you're interested in meeting a group of your neighbors that has gathered to the east, we've been contacted by a larger community like ours living in the capital. Apparently, the city was hit hard, but they say society is beginning to go there where we are considering joining them. Oh, that's nice. Ghouls finding each other. I would uh, be on Twitch, like I said, trying to run the stream while on hundreds of server messes and connection. Yet YouTube seems to run fine. Yeah, I don't know. <clears throat> You're not the first person to say that, too. Sometimes, too, people like will say, Twitch is blocked at their work, but YouTube is not. <clears throat> so. Mm. Uh, drink. That's what I'm going to do. And food. It's a man. I don't have much purified water. We're gonna have to collect some soon here. Need more materials to keep building the shelter. Vault 51 Overseer. That's interesting. I'm getting irradiated. You know, let's make some more water though. Take it easy, Dad Battle. Have a go. The in game lore is always fun. Yeah, I do like the notes and stuff that they leave telling you kind of like what happened or hinting at what happened. <coughs>
Let's go talk to Lane. I don't remember what the hell's. Oh, it's just a daily. I see. Okay. Well, fuck it. We'll do the daily. <clears throat> oh, it's running like shit for some reason. Just about time to eat. No, nice to find a <coughs> friendly face. Well, we'll see if I'm friendly. Maybe I'm not as friendly as I look. It gets lonely out here. Great to have someone to talk to. How's it going today? You just gotta keep your head up. Well, I wish you luck on the rest of your day. You too, buddy. You got anything I can uh, steal? I'll take another. <laughs> Maybe just one more whiskey. I feel like also like if the apocalypse happened like this and you you know shit was kind of awful, naturally you'd want a drink. But also, if you're scavenging, you're out in the middle of the world, and things are so dangerous and stuff, not only- not to mention the people, but like, getting really drunk would be such a... Um... I'd have to be really safe in order to want to drink. Like, actually, especially out in daylight. It'd be so dangerous to be drunk and inhibited, you know what I mean? <clears throat> what if something happens upon you and you're fucking drunk as shit and you can't defend yourself? <laughs> Is this a responders thing? Oh yeah, this is the responders, isn't it? Vault drinking is the way to go. That's right! What's up, Leels? I see you over there. What? How come every time I come back here, there's more dead responders? Are the enemy must eliminate trees. You've returned. I'm so grateful. Now, what business do I have for you today? We've had reports that a dangerous cult, the cult of the Mothman, has moved into a cave system nearby. They're part of a larger organization that extends all throughout Appalachia. And learning more about them will help you us You underestimate the normal inebriation level of your I'd average like gun you over? i go into those caves and gather some of their ritual artifacts for study. You'll earn a fine commission for returning them No. <laughs> That's not what I'm saying. It also depends on the person. Anything we can. Gleaning any information about the cult's rituals, organization, or beliefs could lead Also, your average to gun order history. today has not been tested by the trials and tribulations that happen in this game. <laughs> A lot of people that think they're like really good gun owner, you know, like, I, I, I could hold my own or whatever, you know, like, they'd get fucked up. <laughs> Rad roaches running around, death claws, scavengers, gangs running around that are also strapped as well. <laughs> <clears throat> Be fucking awful. And not even talking about like just fallout. I mean, we are specifically talking about fallouts, post-apocalyptic um thing. There's a lot of people too that are like preppers and stuff are like, yeah, bring on the apocalypse. I prefer it. The apocalypse would not be fun. <laughs> like, at all. A lot of people have just been kind of brainwashed by a bunch of, like, media and movies and all this stuff to think that, like, it would somehow be enjoyable? No. Like, a modern apocalypse would suck. Be careful. Cult of the Mothman is dangerous. They'll no doubt protect those artifacts with their lives. You see, Stimpak super. Be careful searching for those artifacts. The cult won't stand by while you take them. People that can't uh, survive without toilet paper, yeah. Lumberjack protectron cuts down trees, but must does not require bush or laboratory facilities.
Collect cultist artifacts. You got it. Trust would just not be a thing in the wasteland. <sighs> yeah. I mean, it might be for a little while, but as things become more and more desperate, I think people would probably also become more desperate and more greedy and less trustworthy in general. COVID showed just how food, fragile the food logistics system is, and never mind the bombs, the survivors would starve in mass numbers. Yeah. Are you Xbox? <laughs> yes. Hello, Brotherhood of Steel people. I have everything I need here. Greetings, civilian. Don't mind if I just take that? I don't need it. Keep your hands off that vertebrae, please. This looks like the start of a real force in the I don't think I could do anything with the vertebrae. And I don't think you can either right now. If it's not the Scorched, it's the Ghouls. Raider. Hello, civilian. What can I do for you? Uh, I'd like to learn a little about you. A personal inquiry? I suppose I can entertain that request. You know what it's like out there? Why doesn't everyone join up? The Brotherhood came to my homestead. I'll never forget that day. We just suffered a scorched attack. It was devastating. There were more lurking, and we knew we wouldn't survive another wave. Night shift. This is 25 years, if I'm not mistaken, cohesion after the bombs dropped. A few soldiers cleared out every scorch for half a mile. When they returned, they passed the sign-up sheet around. I knew that if I joined them, I'd never feel helpless again. It wasn't my desired assignment. I hope to be a knight someday. And I'd rather be out there cleaning up scorched, ferals, and other mutants. But being Brotherhood doesn't just mean killing bad guys. The information we gather here will be valuable for rebuilding society. And I always follow orders. I'd prefer that. Looking to join up? Maybe. Yes. You're making the right choice. Head to Fort Atlas in the mountains to our east. Speak to Russell Dorsey. He's organizing the recruitment drive. Find, protect, and preserve. We're based out of California. High Elder Maxon is our commander in chief. An expedition led by sneeze. Paladin Romani no <laughs> scribe <laughs> across the continent to re-establish a presence here after the original org went dark. The Appalachian Brotherhood has established a base, Fort Atlas, in the mountains east of here. Twenty something years, I don't fucking know. I might be wrong. I get to meet them in person someday. Very well. I'll share what intel I can. There's always an underlying tension. It's only natural that the people here are suspicious of a powerful outside force. They'll come around. We've already recruited a fair number of native Appalachians, myself included. People see the appeal. The settlers are frustrating. They should be our allies, but they're stubborn and independent. They should leave those traits to the raiders, who will burn themselves out on chems and violence soon enough. The responders in the Blue Ridge Caravan Company leave us alone and let us do our jobs. The others should do the same. Take me All right. 
Farewell. Cool. Check out Fort Atlas if you want to sign up. So I could just like take this shit? Are they gonna be like pissed? I think they'll get mad if I take it, right? <laughs> Someday we'll ride these metal steeds no, again. Ah, right, well, we know it's here. We'll make it's not complete, anyways. Too. Fort Defiance ever was. Ad Victorium. <clears throat> Y'all got any fusion cores? This don't got much. Weird you guys just like allow me to do that. Why don't the settlers join us? There's so much for them to get. I have some back at home. Fusion cores. That is. Vanderglow. Is that this wonderful? Don't get left behind. I already said I was gonna join. Giddy up buttercup body. I can do more than just fight, but how do I show that I'm fit for this? May wanna buy a core charger from the atomic shop. <clears throat> yeah. Then I wanna be a part of it. Well, we know that camp's there now, that's cool. Bring on a star. Then you are. <sighs> quick save, then do it. There is no quick save in this. It's online. It's online game, Mom. I can't pause it. Carry moonbeams home in a jar And be better off than you are Power armor has been recalled to your inventory. Did I clear it, claim that? When I grabbed it? Ow. Oh, fuck. No. Did I? Well. Roblox with the 97 months. Uh, I hate to say this, but Zeke's got you by three months. Much love, brother. And sorry, I'm like, no worries. It's all good. You just missed Path of Exile, which I think we all can safely agree was riveting. And I was very good at the game. Foes cannot escape. All will face the Mothman's judgment. See, if I had so if I had my combat knife, could I crouch up behind him and like just backstab him? 
which I don't have on me, no. Or do I need like a perk for that? I don't think I have any perk into you know, that on kind of stuff. Of reckoning, the worthy will become one with the divine light. Yeah, I know there'd be a perk to increase sneak damage, I just didn't know if it allowed me to, like, one-shot, you know, just base level. If I, uh, was able to get behind them and stab them. No one else heard the gunshots in the cave? No, the masks they wear obstruct, uh, being able to hear. Apparently. Yeah, I'm not complaining. So that's full of blood then, huh? Wow. Interesting. Neat. Bloody water. Wish you could join the cultists in this game. Tastes like iron. Tastes like iron. What? Did I go over a trap? I think I did. Damn it, I'm stupid. I went down the wrong. Mm. <clears throat> I hate those traps. They always trip me up like that, too. You said tip, but I think you meant to say trip. Nothing quite like playing a Fallout game, though, and listening to some old, old Fallout playlists, you know? We're not listening to Steberg. That is a lie. You're downloading it now. Look, you've been influenced. Mothman, hear my prayer. Keep us safe from the dangers of beasts and men. It's too late. Men are here. Ah. Night night. Is eternal. Anybody else hear that? Oh. It would appear that yes. But they're just throwing Molotovs blindly. It's all they know how to do. <clears throat> what hope do you have? I did Jesus Christ! Okay, hold on, hold on. More will come to take my place. Shit. 
Jesus Christ. Jesus. Oh, thank you. Having only one round in the bag is making you nervous. There you go. You feel better? Too late. Pipe revolver, plasma cartridge. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've played this game for years now. I'm downloading it. Keep influencing people. And I'm not getting paid for it. <laughs> it's surprising they didn't want to. Maybe they're just counting on people playing it anyways. That Bethesda wouldn't like be like, hey, we see you playing this. You want to play some more? Or try to encourage people to play. Uh, what with like their their update that just I guess was coming up and now is out. I guess. You know, and then you got the show. I don't know. Good on them for supporting the game, though. I guess. Obviously, they don't need to. They can do whatever they want with their promotion money, but. Me as a streamer, I'm like, pay me. <laughs> Give me work, I'll stream it more. You know? People are already interested. It just makes sense. Oh, great Mahdi. Look upon your subjects with mercy and protect them from harm. I have so much 308 ammo, it's crazy. I got everything. Get the fuck out of here. Creepy cave. Hey! Convinced me, I'm also going to re download this now. Here you a streamer, sir. Thank you very much for the 15 buckaroos, Woojtron. You're welcome. And thank you. Um, Starfield was let down for me. 
So I'm gonna go back to Starfield. I really am. I think Starfield will be just fine. From what I played of it, I was enjoying it. It's space fallout, whatever. I was having fun playing our, our character, our, our unhinged Picard character, you know? And the issue was when I was streaming it, uh, when I played it and played it on the streams, like people were still playing it themselves. And also they had just gotten done seeing a lot of people play it. Cause I was on a cruise, I was on vacation when it first came out. So I, you know, very seldom do I actually like play uh, a game that's like AAA or like really, really high profile and hyped up when it comes out just because I don't like playing the rat race of it. Unless I really, really just want to play and I don't give a shit about numbers really so much. And then I was like, you know what? We'll play it way later after they've had time to patch more things and update it. And, and then also just people have like played it themselves. So they're not concerned with it. And then less viewer fatigue from watching. You know what I mean? <clears throat> are there mods for Starfield yet? Oh, I'm sure there are. There was mods... I mean, for certain stuff. I don't know about, like, how significant or in-depth the mods are, but, yeah, I would think there would be. I am playing solo right now. I've been playing this off and on with, uh, with my wife, though, with, with Beth. It kind of started that way, where I was, like, already a little bit thinking about playing Fallout 76, and then she loves the Fallout series, especially just kind of... The tedium of going in daily, doing a bunch of quests and things like that, and just, you know, kind of never-ending content sort of deal. So this this is perfect for her, and I was surprised she had never tried it. I'm like, you're gonna love Fallout 76. <laughs> even even better, because they've added so much shit to, to Fallout 76, where... Not only will you have a bunch of the tedious shit that's kind of never-ending content in dailies, but also you do have significant content to play, because they've added a lot to it since when I played. I'm just going to fast travel, fuck it. He's right there, but you know what? I don't want to run. It's a it's one cap. Yeah, tonight I'm just playing uh, solo Phantom. Only because I was playing Path of Exile earlier and I was like, you know what? I kind of want to switch to something and then chat voted for me to switch to something else. So this felt like something good to jump into. Kill a few hours, have some fun, do a little bit of leveling, maybe. Hey, no dead bodies this time. Way to go, Lane. You're back. Also, you talking about getting back into Starfield is making me want to reinstall and play it again. I'm too easily influenced. You know, for everything that Bethesda gets shit for, I still really like Bethesda games, you know? Do, 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 do. I do think it's it's kind of getting to that time where it's make or break for them to like to start like how how my interest will start trickling off more if they don't start modernizing some of their games a bit. I'm always expecting the Bethesda jank because Bethesda jank usually isn't like so bad to the point where it's game breaking. It's just kind of funny, a little silly, you know. I bought Skyrim close to six times. Yeah, I've I've bought it. Let's see. Gotta be somewhere in there, too. I've gotten it for free a few times, too. Because I've done, like, work for it. Like, I, I did a sponsor stream for the Skyrim Special Edition when it first came out. Since we're talking about Fallout, too, and we're playing Fallout... I don't know if people will even remember. Because... I was at Bethesda. <laughs> I don't even know how I got the job, but whatever. I was the streamer that was at Bethesda's headquarters streaming their launch stream. <laughs> I don't know if anybody remembers that. <laughs> but the thing was, not really that many people tuned in. Because they had it before where they weren't going to allow streamers to, uh, to stream Fallout 4 early. And then they decided to let streamers stream it early before the stream that was happening at their headquarters. And so, why the fuck would anybody watch our stream? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, there were people that watched, but it would have been way more people that watched. And I was also like, well, that's a bummer, because I only get to play for a couple hours on this sponsor. I wasn't that mad, because they paid me very well. But, when was this? This was when Fallout 4 launched. I was there. With, uh... One of the people from Bethesda. Yeah. 
I don't know. I still don't really remember how they landed on me. Is that I think it might have just been through the agency that I had at the time or whatever. Not that I wasn't a fan of Fallout or had a history of playing Fallout or like Bethesda games, but I was just like, really? Me? Whatever. I'll take the job. <laughs> you know? There's no VOD of it, I don't think either. Which, uh, which was, I was kind of sad about because I wanted to be like, see? Look! But anyways, yeah, when Fallout 4 launched, I was at the launch stream. But the thing is, we s started our stream, <laughs> like, after they already gave the go-ahead for streamers to stream it early. Like, a handful of them. So I was like, well, fuck, <laughs> this stream's gonna suck. <laughs> or not suck, but be incredibly less special, you know? I still had a good time. But, uh... Yeah. I just remember being there being like, wait, why am I seeing a bunch of people stream it? Wait, they gave, they gave access to- Ugh. <laughs> Second I do rebels. Yeah, I get to level 20. Oh yeah, that stuff. Let's do this one. This one seems more interesting. Ads are in like three and a half minutes. Um, they're up here, right? I think literally my camp is the closest. Yeah, I haven't ventured up there very much. Ooh. Jesus Christ. Quick stop off at the camp. Drop some stuff off, and we'll run over there. Yeah. You basically said what I was thinking, Wooj. Love, love Bethesda. Could have used your travel tent. Yeah, but I was also using this as a, as a point to fast travel up. Do you see what I'm saying? Because I was like... I was down wherever the fuck I was, wherever the responders are. You have to get Bioware to stream the next Mass Effect when it's done? <laughs> Unlikely they would, they would do that. I don't really know how aware of me Bioware actually is. Also, the Bioware that was is not the Bioware that is. You know what I mean? So also... While I would still be interested in the opportunity, who knows if the new Bioware is going to be good? <laughs> I I really hope it is. I'm pulling for them, you know. I, I really, really hope it is, but... I don't know. We shall see. Can't we build a, a, a parking spot for our, uh... <laughs> parking spot. For our, uh, power armor. Find this plant? I don't have the... I don't got it yet. Ball sack. Alright. Ads are about to run in like 40 seconds. FYI. and grab a beverage.
I don't think I'm gonna use my, my power armor right now. That with some drugs. There you go. I'm gonna rest real quick to get a buff. Drugs, you say? What's up, Juicy? I'll be right back. Ads running right now. No, it's the snoring in game. Get up! I'm not tabbed in. Damn it. Curry is a bad form for a moderator to use other streamers' emotes. Um, no. Depends on the streamer and what emotes you're gonna use. I mean, ideally, it'd be nice to have be my emotes, but also I know my emotes have. Not been updated in quite a while, which is something I will be aiming to rectify. We'll be getting new emotes sooner rather than later. Might come in like batches or like a couple here, a couple there, whatever.
Away we go. It's not bad for him. If it was just like always other stream remotes, I'd be like, oh, that kind of sucks. <laughs> but I also can't control like what people's emotes, what they use. I don't think our emotes are bad, but they, they're, they've been in need for, for, you know, some new ones and updating and also filling out our, our animated emote slots. It's just one of those things you got to spend time to, amidst everything else that you got to do as a streamer, um, you got to spend time getting that sorted. They're fine. I mean, we've had the same emotes for quite a while, you know. It's time for some new ones and to spruce things up. It's me, I'm out there. Are you friendly? Oh, you're not. You blind? Well, we know you're dead. He was right. Something was out there. Metal left leg. What the fuck? The thing with me too is like, one, it can be hard to get artists to, to one, commit to a timetable and, and also find artists that are, are good and what we want that, that are not already busy or on retainer. And then also too, like, I'm not somebody that like, has ever been a stream, I've never been a streamer who like fucking just goes like, give me my emotes now, where the fuck are my emotes, you know what I mean? And sometimes you do have to, I mean, you do have to, ideally you found a an artist that is professional enough, but a lot of artists are not professional enough to operate on time, on deadlines and timetables and actually execute. Um, Elu is, is fantastic, who's made up the bulk of our emotes. And I've talked to him recently and he said that he has some time here and there, you know, he's mainly like, uh, on retainer for, for, uh, JP. So like, JP's emotes get priority and all that stuff and JP's paying him for that, you know, and that makes sense. But, um, he does still have, like, the ability to, like, work on stuff outside of it. So I was asking about that, like, you know. Um, so Elu will be doing some more work for us as well. It just might take a little bit, depending on how busy he is and stuff and whatever. And we had, um, we had Nichols do some, some work for us too, and he did good work. So I'll probably have him for some, some work. Um, I think Elu will probably be the one that we mainly have do, like, not mainly have, but, like, I don't think Nichols does, um, animated emotes so much. Probably Elu will be the one to, to do a good batch of those. But we'll be working at both just getting some new emotes going or, or updating some ones that we think maybe could be better. Um, and also, uh, filling out the emote slots. Is it me? Am I the someone? I bet I'm the someone.
Doopy 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 doop do do. Lord Fertilite. Oh. This is like a side thing, I think. Oh, it's an event. I don't have fertilizer. Oh, this is like a... I'm not doing this shit. Game's trying to distract me with other stuff. What about Julia? Uh, Julia used to make emotes for me way back when. But now she's... I think she's pretty, like, exclusive to, um... Ko and Dan. I don't think she... I don't know if she's a... I want to say allowed, because that makes it seem like they prevent... But I don't, I don't know the nature of, uh, you know. What the fuck? Spooky treat bag. Mmm. Mystery candy. Who doesn't like mysteries candy? Yeah, it would be awesome to have Julia make some stuff for, for us again, but... Again, I think she's pretty... Pretty, uh... Spoken for her with, uh, with Ko and... And Dan. She made some of them are like really, really early emotes from forever ago. She does good work. Take it easy, Juicy. Have a go on. Get some good sleep. You need to stop getting distracted and just get to the fucking thing. Said everyone ever playing anything Bethesda. What's up, y'all? I heard something. It's me. Ow. So you guys are raiders then, yeah? Ow. This is not going well for me. I need to run. Thanks for the raid, Phantom. We're just doing some late night Fallout 76 after playing some Path of Exile for the first time earlier. Uh, I probably won't be going for that. I'm maybe like an hour. It's 2 a.m. here, so if you guys want to hang around here and watch somebody, some bumbling fool, myself, play some Fallout 76, you're in the right spot. I don't know what you were playing or what you were doing, but I hope you had a good stream. Path of Exile's amazing game. Yeah, it's. I mean, uh, today was my first time playing it. It's, it's a lot to, to take in, but thankfully I had um, a buddy of mine who's very obsessed with that game. Um, kind of guide me along. And chat, too. You know, chat's been, was pretty helpful. It's neato. I, it's, unfortunately, it's, I don't know if it's something that people want to watch me play, <laughs> play a whole lot, you know? Plus, there's just a lot to it. You were catching up on your 76 grand night after finishing up Sons of the Forest. Nice. Very nice. Well, I am still very early on this character. I haven't done a whole lot of, like, missions and stuff, which is why I'm only, like, level 11. Probably almost 12, maybe now. This is a character that me and my wife started offline and then kind of have been playing off offline and online here and there. 
Her more so than me, because she uh, really likes Fallout. <laughs> Wife! Great timing starting a new character with the show coming out in a week or so. Exactly. Multiple reasons. That, I haven't played in a long time. I know they've been updating it, and they have this new update that just came out. Also, my wife has never played Fallout 76, so I was like, hmm. We should definitely play. She loves, like, Fallout 3, New Vegas, and Fallout 4. I was telling him, like, you know, this game's pretty much Fallout 4, but just online. <laughs> In a new, like, place. I guess that's an oversimplification of it, but essentially. I... what? Oh, fuck! Terrifying! Hello. Please stop. Oh my god. Let's try some vats. Nope. That, that's not vats. There you go. I really gotta put the thing on where I can target, like, individual body parts. Night. I have so much 308 rounds, it's insane. You know what? Before we go into town. <laughs> I can't put it anywhere. Fuck! Oh, there we go. This is actually a big fountain. Plus 50% critical damage, plus 1% and one percent aim, speed, hip fire. I'm going to keep that on me. Mystery Cavendy. Who knows what will happen? Oh, yeah, I got a plan for a pool table. That's what I was going to do, too, actually. Maybe we, like, half the amount we're carrying. <laughs> a little excessive. I'm very excited, uh, for the Fallout show, also. I don't think what I'm saying is NDA either. Hey, also, I'm pretty sure if it goes through, I haven't signed the contract for it, but we should be watch party- watch partying. The, uh, the first episode of Fallout with you guys? Well, anybody that has Prime, obviously. It's like paywalled that way. Um, and getting sponsored for it. Yay! Yep. So that's cool. Didn't they take away watch parties though? Yes. If I had to wager, I'm assuming they're just gonna keep the watch, or like we're gonna do like, a, we'll have the ability to do like essentially a watch party, but just enabled for our channel for that, that period of time. <coughs> You're skeptical about it, but I have hopes for it to be good. Well, for what it's worth, I saw 10 minutes of it, and I listened to the director 
along with like Todd Howard up on a stage and um, some of the cast there. And the director was talking about, you know, that they understood the responsibility for it. And also, if you look at the director's like pedigree and stuff, of what they've done, it makes sense that they would make be the one to make the show. And um, Bethesda is also, I feel like they wouldn't just like let anybody do their shit. And that felt like like kind of when they were talking about it. This is like a South by Southwest preview event here. That happened that I was able to attend, which is really cool. Um, I saw the first 10 minutes of it. It's pretty good. At least the opening is solid. I, I, have, I have high confidence in it. Not saying that it's going to be for sure amazing, but, you know. Everything points to it being alright. But anyways, that should be a thing that we're doing. So I'll give you more information on that, but it would be on the 11th when the show, probably like in our normal time slot. So you'd have to either wait to watch the episode if you want to watch it for the first time with me, because I'd rather watch it during our normal time slot. I'm thinking what we'll do is we'll play some Fallout 76 for a couple hours, get it's warmed up on that day, and then going into the nighttime, we'll watch episode one together. I can only watch one episode one on stream with you guys, but that's that's still cool. And I won't watch it for the first time until, uh, on stream. Neat little opportunity that presented itself, so I was like, neato. April 11th, I believe, is when, um... They are, the episodes are streaming and available on, um... I don't think it's meant to be too, like, I think it's all just, all the episodes are available at once, right? Like on Prime? Yeah, the full season drops, which I love. I, uh, do not like piecemeal as much, especially for things that I'm really into. What the fuck? I gotta watch the rest of Masters of the Air as well. Hello. Oh shit. I smelled your fear, human. You ain't smelling shit. Ow? Oh. You fucker. Ow. I don't remember those being in the game. Are those newish? Or am I just not remembering mobs in the game? I don't remember how to throw grenades. Fuck. Octopus lads have been in for a long while. They elaborate on a long while. Hold melee? Okay. Ah! Oh, that- okay, well that's a trip mine. That's not right. Hmm. Well, maybe he'll walk on it. Come this way! Yeah, come this way. Yeah, we did. Let's pick it back up.
I love the being able to loot things around you. It's really great. Well, 76 is getting a map expansion later this year? That's interesting. Well, I didn't know that. Like, I have no idea what content they've put in the game and what is, is coming up. Oh. The mayor's a robot? Welcome to Grafton. I bet you weren't expecting a computer to be grafted in the mayor. <laughs> I was I ever! Unfortunately, you are a wee bit early for tourist season. But this is your lucky day. Help us get ready for the upcoming flood of eager tourists, and I'll not go whole 5% off the cost of all attractions. 5%? Wow. You know everyone's dead. Every single one of them. But I tell you, being mayor is a far easier task that way. You should see my approval numbers. <laughs> How did you become mayor? Let me tell you, I used to be the mayor's assistant, but when he stopped showing up for work, I ran for office. I am eminently qualified. And the town unanimously elected me one to zero. Nice. There is a flood of new visitors to the area, just like you. And that means revenue. Don't you worry, I don't expect you to do this for free. I'm sure I can find a suitable reward. Somewhere. We have four major attractions around here. Wavy Willards, the Clarksburg Shooting Range, Cricket Sport, and the Black Bear Hunting Lodge. Go out there and get each one of them ready. I'll wait here, because I don't have legs. And I can't move! All right. Mayor of Grafton wants it ready for tourist season. We're gonna help him. It, them, they, I don't know. It's a robot. Plan Chinese officer sword. The Beast of Grafton. Welcome back, dear listeners. It's time once again to put aside all you think you know, all you believe to be true. Time to open your mind to the strange, bizarre, and sometimes terrifying world that exists in the shadows and fringes of our own. Where myth, legend, and rumor Don't are made real. date robots! Yes, it's time for more thrilling tales from the West Virginia Hills. Tonight's episode, The Beast of Grafton, is brought to you by Dandy Boy Apples. Apples so good, they never go bad. And remember, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. That's Dandy Boy Apples. Fresh, delicious, and dandy every time. They're the only sort of apples I eat. Ooh, let's listen. Our tale begins in the rural hills near Grafton, where locals have reported a strange creature lurking in the woods. Robbie Cockrell and Peggy Mansfield. Were How are you liking it so far? I mean, we've been playing. We've been playing for a good couple of weeks now, just off and on. Myself and, and the lady. It's been fun. I've never disliked this game. What am I hearing? Way out here in the woods? There's nothing this far out of Grafton, except that hospital. No worries, Adam. I'll let you know if I... Should I need some help? I bet we're going to that new drive-in over in Clarksburg, right? Just so you can show off your slick new hot rod. Ah, oh, come on. Don't be like that, Peggy. I just thought the drive-in would be romantic. Oh, Robbie. Robbie, look out! Oh, no! Shit. It... What? <laughs> Hold on. Yeah. I'm okay, I think. What happened? 
I'm pretty sure what just happened is that it pushed me through the door, technically. It tripped... Oh, no, 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 they already had... They had a trip thing right here. Never mind. All right. Here it is, fine. Those kids are dead. Look, those lights by the river. That must be the hospital. We can get help there. Come on. Ow! My foot. I think I heard it in the accident. Look, I'm bleeding. Everything's going to be okay. I think you're right too. I think it probably will get a surge of players when the show releases. There you go. Or leading up to. Will our two lovers survive such a harrowing ordeal? Tune in next time for the thrilling conclusion of. The Beast of Grafton. The Beast of Grafton. Well, I thought that was thrilling. This is just a door to go to the other, to go back outside, isn't it? I'm sure it is. Sounds very intense and making the, the ground very washed out here. This area is very dead. I remember vaguely being in this area too, last time. Haha, ha, Raider Scum. Damn it. I leveled up. Ooh. I don't know what I'm going to level up. It might be a good one for us. You hear directional audio when in range of a magazine? We 
back home. Magazine makes noise. I think it's saying that it'll give you like, you'll be able to hear noise, directional noise, some sort of noise like when like a, a magazine is nearby. Which I don't think I care about as much because in this game, magazines, correct me if I'm wrong, they're like a temporary buff as opposed to where in regular Fallout it'd be like, you just, you just got this stat boosted. <gasps> <clears throat> Which I don't give a fuck, then, as much. Just looking at stuff. No, I left the homestead. I really must confess. I'm a weary Food and drinks weights are thirty percent less. Hmm. Stim packs may generate edible meat tissue. Higher rads improve the chance. Ooh. Thoughts. On anything I've been looking through. <clears throat> I don't know what to level up. We do use rifles quite a lot, so this might be good for us. Carry, carry weight is also uh, another one too. I've done that several times. That's why I have the strength that I do have for, for like this. The weight of all junk items is reduced by twenty five percent because I do fucking hate that over encumbrance. And I could combine it. Yeah, I'm gonna do that actually. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, that is definitely worth it. The weight of all junk items is reduced by 75%. Yeah. Johnny, get Absolutely the most Chad perk to max first. Hell yeah. Are you a friend? Well, I gotta get back to monitoring the radio chatter. Excuse me. I need to set up my radio someplace where I can talk freely. Openly. All I want to do is get out of this place, get my radio set up somewhere, and talk about the world. How it is now. You get me? Funny thing is, none of the none of this was planned. People just started doing kind things in game and it became part of the Fallout 76 culture. It makes sense for the game though, you know what I mean? Because... 
because I don't know you? Get lost, weirdo. You moving in here too, or what? Don't be rude to me! I don't have enough leveled up in different stats in order to have other options. You dick. Taking your grenade. I'm out. Want to snooze? Uh, now the ads can go. Ads in four minutes. I like this song. A slip. <laughs> Quick feed over there, eh? Hi. Do some business with the big iron on his hip. Big iron on his hip. You're a weirdo. You're a weirdo. Nerds. You're watching someone play a video game. <laughs> Why aren't you just playing the game? You know what I mean? It's weird to me. Just saying. What are you doing? Ah! <laughs> Fuck! Ah. Yo, you got some fast feet. Y'all are pretty quick. I know it. I'm missing. I'm getting a little. I'm sweating a little bit. Not much, though. I'm just gonna give him the. Hup. Hup. You're confused? Your AI is bad? Ow. D fucking. Thank you. After Texas Rain. Boom! Somebody's talking up here. Big iron on his heel. <gasps> Big iron on his heel. Big iron. The Contact Miss Annie. About to meet his death. <laughs> Uh, uh. Bustin', bustin', bu bu bustin'. Always quantum with the two, three extra spicy. Forty months and big iron, big iron. Ads are about to run, y'all. On the ground. The bot will get demonetized, so I guess split off. The yep. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Casanova, these songs will, uh... They won't make it so that we're like... It's not like Twitch where it'll mute the VOD, potentially. Um... These songs will just make it so I can't monetize the video. So, if I've been streaming for a while and I've played something else, I'll, like, stop the stream and, uh, you know, separate the VOD. So that way it's two separate videos after we're done streaming. So that way that first whatever five hours I did hey little guy um is still able to be monetized on YouTube gotcha still sucks yeah but you know at least we have something to to combat it I cannot wait to see all those 76ers having the time of their lives at Wavy Willers but tell them to be careful of the Slither. Back in my mind. A few kids allegedly flew right off the slide. 
Maybe have everyone sign a waiver first. Toxic water. Lay that pistol down, Mr. Packin' Mama. I think they're above me. They sound like they're right near me, but... Is it me or does the lighting seem off right now? Like, maybe it is like this normally. You know, it might be like this normally. Feels like it's brighter than... It should be dark. Yeah, right? I don't think it's meant to be like this. Like I'm underground, there's not enough lights to produce that. It feels like light external light sources are like coming through. Yeah, the gamma looks kind of high. Yeah. I, it's not me. I didn't do anything with that. Let me double check just to see. I don't even think they have a gamma on here, do they? It might just be weird. Even outside it felt like that, didn't it? Okay, is it fixed now? Or is it just the sun going down? I mean, this looks normal now-ish. Then I was also like, does it just look like this normally? Like, you know, with like, to, to, to show this area is more irradiated? This looks normal now, I think. Hello, robot. Excusez-moi, you there. Uh, you're here to find Freddy? What is normal in Fallout 76? That's right. Ads are running right now, so I'm gonna go grab Mom Beverage. I'll be right back. Mama, lay that pistol down. Everything's right, right? Everything's fine? <laughs> Lurker raid call! Lurker raid call? You know what I mean. Freddy is my little lost boy. He has been gone ever so long. His father, 
He put a tucker on Freddy that the lovely boy could not remove. But on that... I survived day, a nearby spooky scorched. It stopped. The policemen, they tried. It was simple. Clues were found here. Then came all of this. My Freddy, he was not found. Uh... He could live, no? You live, so he could. Such a clever boy. Now maybe a man. You know you're Such a robot, a long time right? To wait for word of Mon Petit Chou. <sighs> I do not have much, but you can gladly have it if you can provide any information. Information. Oh yes, there are certainly clues inside the security office. But Nanny, she cannot bypass privacy protocol. To enter the security office is I see she was a nanny. Maybe you can enter. Miss Annie the nanny. Why do you make that noise? I'm gonna eat some of those treats. I don't know what they do. Oh god. Oh fuck, I think I know what they did, huh? Mm-hmm. Does it attract them to me? It feels like maybe, yeah. Yeah, I assume they're a Halloween event enemy. I mean, another one. I'm gonna eat another one. Hmm. All right. Gain up to plus three all special stats except What? I gain up to plus three to all special stats except end when health is low. Oh endurance. So when my health is low I get a plus three to all my stats. That's interesting. I feel like that's kind of worth it. That's a bloody build legendary stat. Hmm. It's like worth it, but kind of not worth it at the same time. be distracted by that. We're going to the next thing for the other quest. Or the quest that we've been working on.
Wagnar, one, two, three, thanks for the prime sub. Also, Rusty Lux with the 12 months. Happy one year. Bipolar Bear, 1981, with the five months earlier. I'd love to explore all of this, but we're trying to stay focused to at least finish this quest. For the mayor of Grafton, beep boop bop. The hell was that? Ah, that's one of them guys. There is locations to find here. I don't remember those weirdos when I played these fucking things. Bunch of weirdos. What a bunch of freaking weirdos. They're kind of new, yeah. Someone said they've had them for a while, but again, that's operating under the... the assumption that I've been playing anytime soon, or recently. Oh god, I'm, I'm number four. Is there number three? Yeah, Hold on. This song always makes me think of, uh, The Big Lebowski. Bribes, you name it. There's no telling how big this is. I think they bugged my house. So I, I've moved to a cabin in the woods where nobody can find me. Yesterday I had a shit of a woman. She claimed she was just hiking, but uh, I know she was an agent sent to spy on me. Jesus. And then what happened? Now I want to watch The Big Lebowski. Fuck, I just might. This, this aggression, man, will not stand. They can't get past my traps. Pee on my fucking rug. They beat on your fucking rug. If I see another one come around. on your rug, dude. That'll prove it. Donnie, shut the fuck up. Show me Shabbos. Show me fucking Shabbos. Well, that's just like your opinion, man. Such a good movie. I still gotta sit down and watch it with Beth. She hasn't seen it. Doesn't surprise me, she's English. I sure as shit don't fucking roll! Fucking dog has fucking papers. <laughs> Over the line! You must make sure to have white Russians on hand, use Tito's. Oh yeah, no, I know how to make white Russians. The easiest way is just split that bitch into thirds. Glass, ice, uh, a third of vodka, a third of Kahlua, a third of milk. Wrong? Wrong? Correct, actually. Everybody makes their stuff different, but if you want the- I noticed I said the easiest, not the best.
There's also multiple ways of making them, like different variations of it. <clears throat> the easiest way to have a tasty, strong white Russian, just put it into thirds. It's fucking easy. And it tastes good. It tastes like fucking adult chocolate milk. Yeah, there's one with cream and no milk. I, I've never, I think the cream would probably be too much for me. That I would fuck with the portions with. But with Kahlua, milk, and vodka, just put it into thirds. Easy. I usually use a tall, like, glass that I would use for, you know, like a beer glass. And I pull that, fill that bitch up with ice and break it, put it into thirds. You got yourself a nice white Russian. That'll get you up pretty fucked up pretty quick. <laughs> that's the way I make them, and that's the way I'll continue to make them. Ah! You bitch. You absolute scoundrel. How dare you menace me from underground? From underneath mine own feet! Die, you fool! Ow! <laughs> Fuck off! Thank you. Thank you. Back to the song. Sometimes, there's a man. Well, he just fits right in there. That particular time and place. And that man was the dude. In Los Angeles. Etc. Uh, fuck. Uh, I was right away. That's what it was. Tumbling tumbleweeds. <clears throat> Good old Sam Elliott. Mm hmm. You know what I saw not that long ago, too? Uh, Tombstone. Watch that on the old Projector. For the first time in a long time. And oh, man, it's so good. It's still so fucking good. <laughs> it's still so good. I hadn't seen it a long time and I was like, well, hmm, shit. I wonder if it's like shittier than I remember. Nope. Nope. Still fantastic. You want to watch a good western you never seen T Tombstone? You better watch Tombstone. Because <laughs> my god. It holds up fantastically. Hello. I did shoot you. Now. What are you shooting at? I'm over here. What the f That guy is crazy. Oh, he's shooting that, I see. Well, he did me a favor. Sorry, what? Remove high level power armor pieces to use this power armor frame. Is it saying this is too high level for me to use? You always preferred White Herb to Tombstone? White Herb's still good. Oh. Is it? Wait, what? All right, whatever. I don't care about it then. Which one had Val Kilmer? Uh, Tombstone did. Wait, no. Yeah, Tombstone did. Huh. 
I belong. I'll be, I'm your Huckleberry. I have two guns. One for the both of you. Johnny Ringo. You look like you someone just walked over your grave. Time to repair your weapon. Just Come on, Doc. I, I was just fooling about. I wasn't. <laughs> oh man, he's so good in that. I had to have repair kits, I'm pretty sure. Where the fuck would those be? Would they be under? Yeah, basic repair kit. Ah. Is it that fucked up, the sniper? Oh yeah, kinda, huh? I belong West Virginia Mountain Mama Country Rule Repair Black Bear Lodge Chicken Terminal hey, oh, oh, it's up above Country Rule Take me home Do the plane I belong West Virginia Can I not? Yes. I have done it. The prestigious Black Bear Lodge. I'm sure the Huntmaster can issue hunting licenses for deer and such. <laughs> I'm deer sure of it. Thing, right? I hate them. <laughs> I don't get out much. Dougie Delicious, thank you very much for the four months. Welcome back to the Sombreros. I didn't mean to take that red box, but I guess it's mine. Boiled water. The hmm. Boogie Woogie Bugle Boy of Company B. Alright. Got to wake up, apparently. Where are they? Another good, uh, like Western too is uh, Quigley Down Under. That's a good one. I haven't seen that one in a while, but I remember it being good. It's a weird name for a movie, but it is good. Yep, Tom Selleck. You got it. It's a good one. I grew up watching a lot of stuff, Robo. 
There's a lot of movies I haven't seen, but there's also a lot that, like, most, I guess, people my age wouldn't have seen. Just depends on your parents. There's a lot of music I listen to that a lot of, uh... Kids my age wouldn't have listened to. You ever seen Gross, uh, Point Blank? No, I don't think I've seen that. When I say kids, I mean, like, I was a kid when that stuff was... station. If Ron Perlman doesn't say war never changes the fall TV show, we riot. I mean... I hope they involve him somehow. You know what I mean? Get him to say war never changes, that would be great. And that's just a, such an easy W, you know what I mean? It's an easy way to get people that are fans of the series and follow and be like, yeah. Well, Guess you planning on playing this more or just today? No, I will be playing this more. We've been playing it off and on. Start packing up the lodge. Recently. Yes, I suppose we should. What's the problem? This was a great season. I know. It's just, well... It's quite boring. We have the same thing every year. Oh my god! Then what do you want? If you have something to say, then spit it out already. All right. Before you judge, hear me out. What if we hunted something new? Something that was a real challenge for a change. Something that could fight back. We circulate an advertisement offering a free weekend at the lodge. People will have no idea what they're really getting into. It's perfect. Wait. Are you talking about hunting humans? Oh, don't act so surprised. You know it makes sense. I can see it on your face. Oh, shit. Well, do you really think we can get away with it? With our wealth, dear brother. Haha. <laughs> There's a lot of people like that that believe that. Ooh, bobblehead. We got another bobblehead. Oh, I'm too low lockpick level. Hello. To the Black Bear Lodge, a family friendly hunting club. I am the Huntmaster for Black Bear Lodge. You must be here to sign up for the tournament. Very well, I'll add your name to the rolls. Each hunter is given three animals to track and kill. We've had a recent influx of new species, so don't be surprised when you see your list. I've marked some hunting grounds for you, but any kill made anywhere will count. <laughs> the Black Bear Lodge has recently expanded allowed weapons to include hand grenades for all hunting programs. It didn't actually give me a quest, did it? Oh, it did. Stay the course and stay focused on our mission. Do, 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 do.
Hunting with grenades is the perfect way to hunt. Mm-hmm. These are this quest too, having me go like a bunch northeast in the map. Like unlocking just areas that I can fast travel to if I want need to be over here. My water in my wigwam. TNT. Boom. Beata. Boom. Beata. It's always fun to think about how many uh, people to, like, just like generation got exposed to a lot of these older songs because of, of, uh, Fallout. And then kind of like developed a liking for it and then thus like an imprinted nostalgia into them because that would have never happened. You know what I mean? Well, probably wouldn't have happened, you know. You jam to this car, jam to the song in your car sometimes? Nice. Yeah, I remember that, uh, the Hell Raider. I haven't watched the Crocodile Dundee movies in a long time. Watched them when I was younger, though. TNT. Beata. 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 Hallucinogen gas canister? I'm just, I'm just gonna take it. Adam Bam, I want her in my wigwam. Take it easy, Mesh Roy. I have a good one. That played earlier, uh, fighting Johnny Guitar. My dear Johnny. Jingle, jingle. The idea of playing new Fallout would be really cool, though. Like, like I mean, proper new Fallout, you know what I mean? Like, hopefully Elder Scrolls, the newest edition of that, has us all being like, Finally! Some new, new shit from Bethesda, you know? They've, they've upgraded that, and then, hopefully, you know, however many years later it is. Fallout 5 is gonna be years away, though? Oh no, we're, we're not seeing that anytime soon. You know, I'm just just excited, hopefully, for the future. You gonna try the tr the Fallout London mod coming next month? Yeah. Didn't like Starfield? No, I liked it. I just put it on the shelf until, uh, one, uh, people were less viewer fatigued from it. Because I think that was happening. Viewership wasn't great for it. So I was like, you know what? I get it. A lot of people have been playing it themselves, and they've also been watching a lot of streamers play it, because I was away for like, I don't know, a week or so when it launched. Then I came back. I streamed a little bit. But, uh, I think just people both were still playing it themselves and also a little, a little tired of seeing just everyone playing Starfield. So I was like, we'll come back to it. You know? Confederate soldiers never marched on Cricket's Fort. But it's fun to imagine they did. I 
Oh my god, a nuka cola quantum. I like that perk that gives me more, uh... Gives me more, you know, stuff. And by stuff, I mean, um, medical equipment. I knew it was gonna be a good... A good pick. Majestic Brickett's Fort. So very, very 100% historical. 100% historical. Even though we just learned it's all bullshit. Welcome to the Brickett's Fort historical site. The curator will announce the next show. Please stand by. Take that Civil War era top hat. Give me that wood bucket. A lot of the random loot you see me pick up is good for just like breaking down into materials. Guarantee they will never change engines at this point, just update it, especially since devs mentioned new Elder Scrolls in a somewhat playable state. It is def the same engine as Starfield. Until I actually see something that confirms that, I'm gonna be like, no nah, man, no, nah, can't be. It fucking can't be. They cannot still just think people are going to be fine with them doing the same goddamn engine. It's it it's too much. They can't keep getting away with it. That will start to be kind of the breaking point for me where I'm like, "Listen, y'all, I love your games, but no." <laughs> like, come on now. Come on now. Ooh, that might have been a mistake. Bitch! I mean, Bethesda will start to go from a, like, you know, like a celebrated dev that people love to a bit of a joke if they just continue to keep trying to use the same fucking engine. Or at the very least, rebuild your engine completely. If you wanna, you know what I mean? Like... I know it's pointless, but my programming demands it. Customers are limited to three cans of beer when shooting. 
Why shoot tin cans off of rocks when you can put a real target in your sights? Getting the shooting range presentable. I have a feeling these days everyone would be up for some good old target practice. We used to rent guns. My and sensors detect that everything is 100% ready for business. Your contributions will never be forgotten. As a small footnote in my autobiography. Have you done the season suffer today? Absolutely not. I jumped on like a little bit, just a little bit ago, just for, uh, just for some, some, uh, late night, something else to play, because we don't know what else to play. I'll be doing more of the season stuff, though. For shits and giggle, mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, God. And you know what? It is time for us to end the stream. I wanted to complete that quest chain, and thus I did. We did also level up, so that's cool. I'll probably level up when I next play. But that is going to do it for the stream. Man, I just got here. Well, listen, it's 3.30 in the morning, all right? I've been going for 7 hours and 49 minutes. No, I'm not going to stream for another hour. I have shit to do tomorrow. Got a barbecue on Sunday. Uh, and I need to do things. So tomorrow I'm going to be cleaning up the house and... Prepping a brisket and doing all sorts of stuff. Today I, I uh, mowed the lawn. It looks nice out there. It did not look nice before. Now it looks nice. This is it for the stream. I'm going to go ahead and skip this one because I've heard it a lot. <clears throat> Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to say goodbye to y'all on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching. Hope the brisket turns out well. I think it'll be fine. I'm more just like wanting to make sure it's... I'm probably going to leave it thawing overnight because I took it out around... I think it's like 17 pounds. I haven't I haven't trimmed out the, the um, extra, you know, thick fat on it. So it's it's probably closer to like 15, maybe 14 pounds with the, the stuff trimmed off of it. And all trimmed up, but it's already thawing quite a lot. I took it out earlier today and it can take a while for it to, to thaw. If it needs a little help, I'll just throw it in a bath. <laughs> a little warm bath. <clears throat> But, um, yeah, I'm sure you'll see pictures of that and stuff. Tomorrow we'll still be streaming. Uh, it might not be a super long stream tomorrow just because I do have things to do, you know, and I got to wake up earlier to, to check on that brisket after I get it going. Um, but yeah, that's going to do it. I, uh, I appreciate y'all immensely for, uh, for, for hanging out and watching. I'm going to say goodbye to y'all on YouTube. We'll see you tomorrow. Same great place, same great time, around 7 p.m. Central. Um, and then um, the VOD will be up shortly after I uh, I end the stream, as well as the, the Path of Exile uh, part of the stream. So That's it. Stick around here on Twitch if you want to be a part of a little raid. We'll send you somewhere else, okay? Take it easy, y'all, on the YouTubes.